little kitty? Let's start building her. So just roll out some white Play-Doh and we're going to use this for Hello Kitty's face. And for my Hello Kitty face, I'm just going to use this Hello Kitty cookie cutter. But if you don't have one, her face is pretty simple. You can always just cut it out yourself. You just want to do a nice oval shape and add the ears and a little room for the bow. Next, we'll add her facial features. So just taking a tiny little ball of yellow Play-Doh and rolling it out for her nose. And for her eyes, you just need two little globs of black Play-Doh and kind of smush them so that they're a nice oval shape. And her eyes are kind of spread far apart, so I think this is a pretty good distance. Next, I'm going to add Hello Kitty's whiskers. So just take some black Play-Doh and take tiny little pieces, roll them out nice and straight. And you'll need six of these, three for each side for her whiskers. She is really starting to look like Hello Kitty right now, but we need her bow. Since she's going to be a mermaid, I'm going to give her a green bow instead of her traditional red one. So for the bow, just roll out a nice good sized ball. And then grab some more Play-Doh and form it just with your fingers into a triangle shape. We'll need two of these, so here's one. We'll attach it to the ball for the center, and we just need one more triangle shape. This is nice and easy, there we go. I think that's a little too big, there we go. That's better. I've got a good shape here, just gotta put it on Hello Kitty. And I'll cut some slits in the bow too, just to add a nice decoration, make it look more realistic. And that looks terrific. Let's compare my Play-Doh Hello Kitty to the stuffed animal. They look pretty similar, so now I can do the body. For Hello Kitty's body, I'll need to roll out some more white Play-Doh. And I'm going to try to roll it out to be the same thickness as Hello Kitty's head. This should be uh, just about right. There we go, that's good. And now I'll cut it out. I'm just gonna eyeball it here, so I'm gonna cut just a little semicircle, a little curve, just so it can fit and connect to her head. And now I can cut the neck and her shoulders. Okay, let's line that up a little better. And her arms, at least for the stuffed animal, they kind of just hang to the side, so I'll do that here too. Just kind of like that, nice little small arms. I feel like I'm cutting out a snow angel right now, but this will turn into a mermaid, I assure you. Her body kind of curves off to the left here, so we gotta cut that down too. Kind of like this. There we go, I think that's good. All right, now for the fun part. Most mermaids, kind of like Ariel and the Little Mermaid, have a seashell top, and I think that looks better than the kind of mermaid bodysuit thing that my stuffed animal Hello Kitty has. So I'm going to make seashells like Ariel for her. And I'm using the Cake Mountain play set here. So it's nice and handy. These shells look great. And you can see they're just super easy. Just press it into the mold and done. I'm going to do a hot pink too, just because I feel like it matches the green pretty well. It makes Hello Kitty look nice and girly. And that's a good size too. Hello Kitty's starting to look like a mermaid, but she still needs her fin, so we'll do that next. For Hello Kitty's fin, I'm going to roll out this beautiful teal Play-Doh. And just like the body, I want to roll this out to be the same thickness as the head and the body so that everything matches. I think this is good. And now I have to cut out the shape, which is slightly difficult. I'm going to lay it underneath her body just so I can cut this top part right. And then curve it off to the left, just like the stuffed animal. We'll curve it around, and I'm going to add the fins at the bottom later. So we just need the big tail here, and I feel like that's pretty good. All right, let me move away this extra Play-Doh, and I have to cut her top to match. Okay. 
Okay, done with the cutting for that. Now let me just piece everything together here. Now with that extra play that we had, I'm gonna cut out the fins. I just wanna make it kind of like a curvy triangle shape. There we go, here's one. We need two of these. So let me cut out another one. I guess you almost cut it out to make it look like a leaf. That looks good, so let's attach it to the bottom of her tail. The last thing I'm going to add is a little decorative piece just at her waist. And this is what Ariel has in The Little Mermaid. And I think it looks really pretty, but also it helps connect the body to the fin. And it just looks better, so. Almost like a little ruffle, there we go. Let me cut it to fit her body better. See, there we go, that's really nice. I can even press in the side so it can connect. And to make everything look nice and pretty, I'll add some details, so just some cuts. Right here on this side, going that way. The cuts going this way. Gives a nice layered 3D look. And I'll do the same thing on her fins here. And there you have it. Here is my mermaid Hello Kitty. So cute. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. Also, let's grab my stuffed animal Hello Kitty. Let's compare. Let's roll out some white Play-Doh. Then we're going to cut out a Hello Kitty shape using this Hello Kitty cookie cutter. While the cookie cutters in the dough just rip off the extra Play-Doh. And now we have Hello Kitty's face. Using your fingers, just roll out two small oval shapes for Hello Kitty's eyes. Now Hello Kitty has wide set eyes, so don't put the eyes too close to each other. Next, with your fingers, roll out a little oval shape which we'll place horizontally for the nose. Next, we'll add Hello Kitty's cute little cat whiskers. I rolled out these little lines with my fingers as well. Just place each whisker to the edge of her face so that they hang off a little bit. Do the same thing on the right side of Hello Kitty's face. We'll have three whiskers on each side, totaling to six whiskers. Next, we're going to roll out some red Play-Doh to make Hello Kitty's hair bow. I'm going to cut Hello Kitty's hair bow freehand. Just make a line up and then go down and back up and then down again, almost to make a letter M shape. And do the same thing on the bottom, but flipped, almost to make a letter W. Then remove the hair bow from the Play-Doh and place it on her right ear. The last step is to add a little ball to her hair bow. Just roll it out with your fingers and place it in the middle of the hair bow. Here's our final step.